Hey guys, it's Emily here, and today we're going to be talking about the rosary, how to pray it, a reminder of what the mysteries are, um, all of the prayers that you need to know, and some helpful hints. So let's get into a reminder of how to pray the rosary. There are a ton of different kinds of rosaries out there. Some are wooden, plastic, metal, some have glitzy beads, some are very dark, some are very colorful. There's a lot of different kinds of rosaries. So look around your house and see what kind of rosary you have or your family has. So here we have a drawing of the rosary and each bead is labeled with what prayer to say. So number one is the cross. You start the rosary by saying the sign of the cross. And then the first big bead you see is the Our Father. And then there's three little beads, which are a Hail Mary. Number four is the Glory Bee. And then starting at number five, you start saying the uh, different mysteries of the rosary. And each rosary has five mysteries. You'll see five decades or sections of the rosary with 10 little beads each. So you'll start each section with an Our Father after announcing the name of the mystery and then say your 10 Hail Marys. Once you get past those 10 beads, it's number seven, which is the Glory Be and the Fatima prayer. And then you repeat that process all the way through your five mysteries until you get to the end, number nine, which is the triangle shaped bead, sort of in the middle, that has usually a picture of Mary on it. And then you'll say the Hail Holy Queen prayer and you'll end at 10, which is the sign of the cross. So now that you know how to pray the rosary, we're going to go through the different mysteries, which are sort of four different stories of Jesus that you can pray with while you pray the rosary. First, we're gonna talk about the glorious mysteries, which talk about things that happened after Jesus' resurrection. So the first mystery is when Jesus rose from the dead. Second is the ascension, where Jesus went up into heaven the third mystery is the descent of the Holy Spirit, where the Holy Spirit came down upon the apostles at Pentecost. Then we have the Assumption of Mary into heaven, where she was raised up to sit with God in heaven. And then the Coronation of Mary, where Mary was crowned Queen of Heaven and Earth. The joyful mysteries are about the birth and childhood of Jesus. The first is the Annunciation, where the angel Gabriel told Mary she would be the mother of God then the visitation, where Mary met Elizabeth. Third is the birth of Jesus. We all know this story as the nativity. Then the presentation of Jesus as a baby at the temple. And finally, the finding of Jesus in the temple when he was a child. The luminous mysteries are about the ministry of Jesus and his miracles. The first is when Jesus was baptized by John in the Jordan River. The second is his first miracle, the wedding at Cana, where he turned water into wine. Third is the proclamation of the kingdom, where he taught everyone about God. Then the transfiguration, where he was transformed into dazzling white. And finally, the institution of the Eucharist, or the Last Supper. The sorrowful mysteries are about Jesus' passion and death. The agony of the garden is when Jesus prayed to God in the Garden of Gethsemane. The second is the scourging of the pillar, where Jesus was whipped by the guards. The third mystery is Jesus was crowned with thorns. The fourth is Jesus carried his cross before his crucifixion. And the fifth mystery is the crucifixion, where Jesus died on the cross. Why pray the rosary? Well, there's a couple of awesome reasons to pray the rosary. First, it's a great way to grow closer to Christ because you're reflecting on a bunch of different stories from the Gospels and from Jesus' life. It's a good way to think about a story of Jesus and then meditate on it for a couple of minutes. Another reason to pray the rosary is because it's a great way to have Mary intercede for us. Now, intercession means that someone is praying on your behalf or talking to someone on your behalf. Imagine it this way. You live in a village with a king and you have a garden where you grow a lot of fruit. And one day you decide that you wanna give a gift to the king. So you gather all of the best fruit from your garden, you gather it all up and you walk to the palace and you go into the palace and you're about to meet the king and give him your big gift of all of the fruit that you've grown. 
But just then, the mother of the king comes to you and says, I'm gonna help you out. And she takes all of your fruit and she arranges it on a big gold platter. And then she takes you and the gold platter and presents it to the king. Now imagine, your fruit was an amazing gift, but think about how it's all perfectly arranged on a gold platter. It's, it's so much more beautiful than it already was when the king gets it. Now that's kind of a description of Mary's role in heaven. She takes our prayers and perfects them and gives them to God on our behalf. So that's one reason to pray the rosary. It's like giving Mary our gifts to give to God. And Mary helps us pray and prays for us. Now, because the rosary is so special to us and it's something that we use for prayer, we need to respect it too. It's kind of like the Bible or a crucifix or something else religious that you might use. Um, it's very special and so you should treat it with care. It's not to be used as a toy or flung around or that sort of thing, uh, but use it reverently and with gentleness. Okay, I think you guys are masters of the rosary now. You've learned so much today. So let's put that into action and I invite you to join me in praying one decade of the rosary. And today, because it's the Easter season, we're going to focus on the resurrection, which is the first mystery in the glorious mysteries. So grab a rosary, Pause this video while you go get one and pray along with me. And if you don't know all the prayers, I'm gonna put them up on the screen so you can just read right along. Thanks for watching and enjoy the prayer. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven and sitteth at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those who are in most need of thy mercy. The first glorious mystery, the resurrection of Jesus. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. 
Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. Hail, Holy Queen, Mother of mercy, our life, our sweetness, and our hope. To thee do we cry, poor banished children of Eve. To thee do we send up our sighs, mourning and weeping in the valley of tears. Turn then, most gracious advocate, thine eyes of mercy toward us, and after this our exile, show unto us the blessed fruit of thy womb, Jesus, O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary. Pray for us, O most holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.